Hard Rock Stadium in Miami Gardens. Today, we've got a Week 8 matchup on tap here as it'll be the Houston Texans taking on the Miami Dolphins. Lurching closer toward the midway point of this NFL season, and we're underway on EA Sports. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Ready? They'll start on the ground with Pierce. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. This defense for the Dolphins, they were very good in the win last week against Jacksonville. And as in any game, takeaways are always a big key. They're always discussed on defense. There's an emphasis there, and they came away with three interceptions in that game. Here's a second and two now from the 33. Another carry for Pierce. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 15 yards, the Texans pick up the first down. How best to describe that one? I'd say right down Broadway on that run. A straight ahead running. I think that that might be something we see a lot of between the tackles today. Well, he's enjoying things so far here this afternoon. Sees a crease and bursts through it for a solid game. Back to back good plays. Have him on the move on first down. Nothing, 19. Play action. Here's Stroud. Got this into the hands of the tight end, Jordan. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. That's on Shaq Mason, the guard. They're backed up here with a first and 20 now after the holding penalty. Pierce now up the middle. And he's going to bowl his way forward to the 48. He was solid last week, over 100 yards in their victory on the ground. They want to get that going again. Absolutely. What they also understand is that from week to week, it's not necessarily the same but they want it to be, right? What they saw last week on the ground, they want to see in this game as well. Stroud sets up the play action. He'll let this go deep for Collins. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Nice job there, forcing that incompletion. This is going to be a fun battle throughout this game. Watching him try to take away that area of the field. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Back to throw. Here's Stroud. And the Dolphins rush gets home. Down he goes. Emmanuel Ogba that time able to drop him for a loss. They were able to win last week despite him being sacked four times. They might need to tighten the reins a little bit, or this one may not end in another victory. You're right about that. They can't count on just winning the game no matter what happens. They can't let the accumulation of hits and harassment in the pocket get to their quarterback. Got to stop that, give him clean lanes to throw the football in order to have a better chance to win again this week. 39 yards on the punt. Give him just one yard on the return, and it'll be Dolphin football. Tug of Iloa and the Dolphins come up first and 10 at their own 18. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. That is incomplete. We'll put a check mark in the box where the defense coordinator was saying, how well can we stay with these receivers if we're in man coverage? Because he just did it on that one. Force the incompletion. That allowed him to get bolder with his pass rush, won't it? Absolutely. Right. Freeze up your guys elsewhere. Here's second and 10. Now Tua, escaping the pressure right. 
Oh, he had a man open. He overshot him. It's incomplete. Boy, somehow, someone lost that running back downfield. He had acres of space, but this ball overthrown. And that's one you've got to be able to hit on. Throwing his tongue of Iloa on third down here. And now look at this. Big gain, but a fumble. And the Texans scoop it. And they'll start with great field position at the 41-yard line. A lot of talk this week about ball security. In fact, they added an extra period in practice to be more secure with the ball. It didn't work out there. Well, sometimes you just get overexcited during the game. You may all of a sudden make your catch, see some open field, and decide you're going for it and not realizing that danger lurks while you're doing so. And there's your end result right there. 60 boxes, 60 boxes. Here's Devin Singletary. He played in this state at Florida Atlantic. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. Stroud. Man open. That's complete to Dalton Schultz. And he's going to get this inside the 30. A fresh set of downs on a gain of 13 there for the Texans. For a tight end, he's got good straight line speed, and on that route, he's often the guy that gets overlooked. Nice job there finding him in stride for really good yardage. First and ten, it's Pierce to about the 26 here. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. Now this one to his tight end out on the right side. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. It's his first catch, and it'll be good for 15 at a first down. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space, and it worked awfully we go, well. We go. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. Check, check it. Stroud now on first and ten. And that went too far in front. He couldn't reel it in. It's incomplete. I know coaches tell us all the time that having a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. He gets this down to the three, but no further. Brought the power run out of the bag and got a couple extra yards with it. Stroud looking to change the play. Pierce will try to pick it up. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. I bet they thought they had picked that one up because it was a third and two call, and they got awfully close. Now we're at fourth and inches. I wonder if they think they're feeling lucky here and maybe want to go pick it up. Stroud keeps it. He didn't get the touchdown, but he did get the first down as he's tackled at the one. Stroud keeps it, and he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. No gain there as he kept it himself at second down. Oh, yeah, good surge defensively. Sometimes you can just tell by the way a quarterback lines his feet up behind center. He's going to try and sneak it in, and they catch him here and stop him for no gain. Ready! He ran it last time. Now Stroud will throw it. And that is caught. Touchdown, Texans. Nico Collins with touchdown number seven on the year. And the Texans use the early turnover to get on the board first here in this one. Well, Charles, he's still a young signal caller in this league, second year in the NFL. And I don't know if last year as a rookie, if he would have worked through his progressions like he did on that touchdown pass. I think you're right about that. We're seeing him grow up right in front of our eyes because when he went to his primary read, 
he recognized that they were all over that. So he continued to survey the field, picked up another target, delivered a pass exactly where it needed to be. A very mature play for the second-year quarterback. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbear now to kick it away. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. Last time out, they had the fumble. That led to the touchdown. Not a great look on either side of the ball as the defense gave up the points too, Charles. But they've got to take care of the football and do better here on this possession. It's certainly been a tough stretch, partner, for both of those units. And they kind of put their defensive mates in a really tough spot there by dropping the ball on the ground. But an easy way to make it up to them, get out there now and get some points on this drive. Hey, hey, let's go. Right back to A-Chan on second down. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. A 10-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Dolphins first down. After one, 7 nothing on EA Sports. Second quarter from Miami. It's the Dolphins with the football as they've got it with a first and 10. Looking to pass. Tua. He's going to loft one deep left side here. It's incomplete. Took a shot. Couldn't connect. The Dolphins sitting at 5-2 and two on the year. And they come in feeling pretty good after back-to-back -back victory, CD. And I thought that they played pretty well last week. Their execution, their discipline, their resilience, all on display in that victory. Tua once again here on second and 10. Sliding out of the pocket. And that is incomplete. When I watched that play, I thought about what my coaches had told me in the past. The biggest teaching point, get your head around. Locate the football so you can make a play on it while it's in the air. That's exactly what he did there. That was nice. Tua sets up to pass it. Eluding the pressure right. And he's going to go down. The Texans come at him and able to bring him to the ground. And now that brings up fourth down there, a loss of six yards on the sack. So on fourth down, here's Jake Bailey to punt for the Dolphins. A pretty good punt there, but also a nice return of 12 yards. And the Texans will take over with a first and 10. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. And they are over 500 for the season four and three. They got back above 500 with a victory last week. And Charles, you think this is a very important week for them, do you not? I certainly do because when you start to do the math, and yes, I'm using my fingers to count. If you're four and four at the midway point, let's say you're saying 10 wins is your cutoff line for a playoff berth. It's usually right around that number. A loss here, all of a sudden you've got to go six and two down the stretch just to reach 10 wins. That means this game is vital. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. So five yards here, five on the play. And that's going to bring up second down. Let's go. Pierce takes it straight ahead. And the big boys up front, they're going to stop him right at the line. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. What an advantage having a lead guy in the middle of the defensive line because not only does he take up the space and let the linebackers run free, but he can also make plays himself, as we just saw there. Come on. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Stroud on third down now. Swings this one out wide for Pierce. 
And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Seven yards there, good enough to move the sticks. They bring pressure there on third down, but this is a nice job of picking it up and making sure their guy has time to deliver the football. And they wind up getting the first down. Stroud to the air on first and 10. He'll get this out wide to Singletary. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. A pickup of 11 at a Texans first down. So many times in my career I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. Go! From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Ready. A give up the middle to Singletary. And he's going to take this one down to the 25. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. From the 25, here's second and three. Now a handoff for Pierce. And not much of a hole there as he gets it down to about the 24-yard line. And this offense on third down today, just one for three thus far. This time they face a third and two. Stroud to throw it. Flush to his right. That is caught. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Four yards on the pickup, good enough to extend the drive. Third and short, and they decided not to run for it. And he's able to escape the pressure, finds a clear throwing lane outside the pocket, gets the completion, and picks up the first down. Stroud, he's going to audible to something else. And movement here by one of the Texans up front. In comes the flag. A false start backs him up five, first and 15. Here's Pierce on the counter. And able to work his way down to the 16. 67 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here in this first half. And hey, when you get good yardage like that on first down, it really does a whole lot of good for your entire offense. But I love the way he's finishing those runs. At the end of things, he's making sure he gets just a little bit extra. And they'll come up second and seven. Here's Stroud. Second quarter action with 159 remaining. And that'll fall incomplete. He was hit just as he let that go. And now it's third down. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Stroud out of the gun here. Oh, he rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked off by Cam Smith, and the Dolphins force the turnover. They'll take over at their own 27. Definitely not the ideal time to see that mistake, partner, because this is still a one-possession game, and that's at least a field goal that just vanished with that turnover. Now, pressure's on defensively to prevent that pick from turning into points for the other side. Ready. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. A good start to the drive here. That's caught out on the left side. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. 36 yards on the play. And that might be exactly what they needed to wake up this home crowd. They haven't given them much to cheer for so far. And never underestimate the effect the home crowd with you can have on a game. All right, fellas. Listen up. Ready. Play action. Now it's Tua. 
Open net is Waddle complete. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. The Dolphin passing game rolling here. They've got another first down. That's a nice catch there. Remember, he had the fumble earlier. No way he was giving up the ball in that situation. Secured it tight to his body and picks up the first down. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Running right, here's Achan. And able to work his way down to the 16. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. And that's the kind of run that gets everyone excited on offense. And you know, oftentimes, the guys who carry the ball are the ones in the huddle doing the chirping. Right now, I think it's the offensive line telling them, run it again. We are right there about to... That is caught by Waddle. Touchdown, Miami. Jalen Waddle, a 16-yard touchdown. And the Dolphins are an extra point away from tying the ball game here in the final minute of the first half. After nearly 30 minutes of football, that touchdown puts us in a position where if they make the extra point, we're right back to even before we start the second half. Point after, right down the middle. And that is going to tie our game as we approach halftime. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Here we go, here we go. Houston's offense already at the line, set to get going. And with 40 seconds to go, that's, you'd think, time enough to try to mount a drive should they decide to do so. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Even without a ton of pressure in his face, it just shows how difficult it is to pick apart his own defense. Those guys are sitting back, and they're not playing receivers as much as they're playing the eyes of the quarterback and when he delivers the ball. Let's go now. Following the incomplete pass, here they go again. Second and 10 from the 25. 70 Rangers, 70 Rangers. Ready to Throwing now is Stroud. That's complete. It's Collins. Now the Texans will burn the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. A big completion there gets double coverage, and Charles, one of those guys had a pick on him earlier. Yeah, so he didn't allow that to deter him at all, did he? In fact, it probably was a challenge. Okay, you got a pick before? <laughs> it's my turn now to make the big play, and that's exactly what he did. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Well, this is a half for not just the coverage, but the entire defense is setting the tone in this game. Ready! Now a second and ten. 18, five here. Now Stroud. That's complete to Dell. Now the Texans will use one of their two remaining timeouts as they stop it with 19 seconds to go in half number one. Here we go. Here's third and three. Back to throw, here's Stroud, flushed out right. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. When in doubt, do it yourself as he keeps it for three and a first down. Evident there that he learned his lesson from the last drive. No way he was going to force a throw that time when nothing broke open, kept it, and ended up running for a first down himself. A couple of first downs to kick off the drive. Here's first and 10 up at the 46. And Stroud now to throw. Let's one go downfield for Pierce. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. And they're not going to go quietly into this halftime break. They know they're in for a fight, so they're trying to make every possession count. They took the big shot there, but it winds up incomplete. Let's go. Second and ten. 
60 Maverick, 60 Maverick, 60 Bison. 50. Stroud looking to throw. And this is incomplete with a clock showing just three seconds left. My first thought is surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? Play of the half, Stroud. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 29-yard line. So we've hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL, and it's a presentation of EA Sports. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Set and ready to go for the second half. One touchdown apiece. 7-7 seven, seven our score. And the fair catch signaled for and taken. So they'll begin this third quarter from their 25-yard line. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. It's a tie football game here. What do you think, Charles, the message was at halftime? Well, I think that they probably just looked at things. And... There he goes, left side. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. The second quarter starts off with a bang as they snag over 30 yards. At halftime, you had to feel like the defense had to be in a good position. They had to feel good about themselves. They'd had this guy boxed in all game long, but after that run, that might be the breakthrough that he's looking for. Now they may have some difficulty dealing with him the rest of today. They stay on the ground, but this time it's Elliott. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Well, we saw a lot of negative plays that resulted in plenty of lost yardage in the first half, and that trend is continuing here. Now they contend with a second and 12 after the loss. Hey, number one, number one. Yep. Now a play fake. Here's Tonga Bailoa. Throwing left sideline there, but it's incomplete. We've seen these defenses make enough opportunistic plays to keep this one low scoring. Flying around, making plays on the ball, and we see yet another errant throw as a result. In motion, the tight end. 20 TX. Throwing his tongue of Iloa on third down here. A throw left sideline falls incomplete. Had an open man that time and ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. So look at this. Here's the field goal unit coming out. And he is going to need to bomb this one. And this will be spotted on the other side of the field. It's a 61-yard attempt. And oh, off the crossbar, no good. A sensational effort from that distance, but rejected by the bar. All things considered, a pretty good kick. Just cruel punishment there to be denied by the crossbar. If you're going to hit from that distance, sometimes you're going to need a little luck. And unfortunately for him, this time the break goes against him. First and ten, it's Stroud. Throw over the middle is taken in by Dell. Let's go, let's go, let's and they're going to hurry back to the line now. Stroud wants to change it up with an audible. On second down, here's Pierce. And he'll get this down close to a first down at about the Dolphins' 40-yard line. It's not a huge breakaway run, but if your starting running back finishes the game with averages of five or six yards per touch, you'll take that every single time. Third and one, Stroud. 
Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have a Texans first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. As an unbiased observer, I think it would have been interesting to see what they would have done if they hadn't gotten the first down there. But since they did, I guess the point is moved. And yeah, they're right there in that middle ground, field goal range, punt, go for it. But as you said, they picked it up. 19 tight, 19 tight. Stroud now on first and 10, escaping the pressure right. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield, complete. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and it'll be second down. Running it out of the gun with Pierce. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. 79 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. Nice job there finding room to maneuver, and he worked his way into another go, first down. And look, they had great field position to start, but boy, they've done a nice job taking advantage of it. Now they're just hoping to cap it off, eluding the pressure right. And able to get this down inside the 15, either the 13 or 14 before he's out of bounds. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. I think the defense surprised him there with that blitz on first down, but give him credit. Stayed cool under pressure and still found a way through the extra rushers for positive yardage. Well done. A run for Pierce out of the gun. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. Nine yards on the play there, and it sets him up first and goal. Yeah, once more, strong running. Excellent blocking at the point of attack. They've got a nice little drive brewing right here. Pierce. Touchdown, Houston. So this game tied at the half, but we are tied no more. A touchdown there on the opening sequence of this third quarter. And what a great drive put together by their offensive coordinator. He had a plan, and they executed it almost to perfection, coming right out of the locker room. Now they're feeling good about their chances here in the second half. Extra point by Fairbairn, up and good. And that makes the score 14-7. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbairn now to kick it away. All right. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. They trail a one-score deficit, 14-7, as they come up first and 10. And that'll hurt the average a bit, as this time they're able to get him behind the line. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Now Tua on the bootleg here, rolling to his right. A wild throw there, and it is intercepted. Picked off by the former first-rounder, Jimmy Ward. And a great return as he gets this all the way down close to the 30-yard line. He exited the pocket trying to improvise. That was a tough throw, and unfortunately, it wound up in the wrong pair of hands. And Brandon, when you're on the run, sometimes your downfield vision can get skewed just a bit. Now, the beauty of extending a play is sometimes your receivers find their way open, but oftentimes you end up closing down part of the field and bringing those defenders to the ball, and that one was picked off. Pierce gets this one running right. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. So that time they got the left guard with a hold. And let's face it, in today's ball, you might have that 330-pound guy you're supposed to clear out of there. You might need a little bit of extra help by grabbing the jersey and trying to ride him out. Ready, ready. 19, charge. Singletary, they'll go up the middle. And down inside the 35, he goes to the 32-yard line. In my book, that's running the ball well, 
but with intelligence. How about him keeping the clock moving, staying in bounds? Yeah, even though it's the third quarter, you're thinking Nothing ahead, aren't you? This is where your running game can really help you with a lead in the second half. I agree totally. It's not just end-of-the-half situations that you worry about the clock. It's throughout the game. And with a lead, stay in bounds. Make them fight harder to try and catch you. That's good for a Texan first down, a 12-yard pickup. <laughs> I got kicked out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. A good job in coverage there. They took away his top read on the play, so he went through his progressions and ended up settling on his running back who scored on their last possession, but the coverage held. It goes incomplete. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. Stroud. He'll complete this one to Collins. Touchdown, Texans! Nico Collins with his second touchdown of the game, number eight on the season. And the Texans will add on to their lead here in the final minute of the third. A nice throw there by the second-year quarterback. And I don't believe that was the kind of play he would have made as a rookie because usually your rookie season is a continuation of your college days. A lot of one read, and if you don't have it, you just take off and go. Now he's settled in the pocket a little bit more, reading the field and getting to a second and sometimes third progression. That was a nice play. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbear now to kick it away. Nixon elects not to return it, and this comes out to the 25. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. And here we are almost through three quarters of play, and this passing game still has not really found any kind of rhythm. Put it mildly, because they're not even over 100 yards yet. And in today's NFL, where it's a pass-first league, that is quite surprising. Not many teams patient enough to stick with the run. Everybody wants to advance the ball through the air. They've got to get their timing back. So a first and 10 now in Houston territory at the 48-yard line. Here's Tua. This is intercepted. And now off to the races down the right side. And the Texans are going to get the football back as time will run out in this third quarter of play. It'll be first and goal when we come back. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Back now in Miami. It's the Texans in control of the football and leading this game as well as we start the fourth. Suddenly, it's first and goal after the interception. A quick change in the situation here. They'll run here with Pierce. And a short pick up there down to about the nine. Only a yard that time, second and goal. We talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. Now they'd really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can, but this is third and goal. A shotgun snap to Stroud. And it's caught. That pass play good for seven, but it still brings up a fourth and goal. Now the Texans will burn the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. And they're going to 
to go for this thing. They're not going to leave anything to chance. They're going to roll the dice on fourth and goal. Stroud to throw it. And got his man. It's caught. Touchdown, Houston. Take Dell. A two-yard touchdown grab. And the Texans are looking to make it two straight as they add on to this fourth quarter lead. So an important touchdown right there is now they're really beginning to pull away. Yeah, and this was a tight game until not too long ago. But since then, they've hit the accelerator. And they pushed the lead up to three scores here in the fourth quarter. And I don't see them looking back. Fairbairn good with the extra point. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbairn now to kick it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Go ahead. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. Their mini two-game win streak appears it might be going by the wayside unless they can pull a rabbit out of their hat. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. Oh, and Tua going to be intercepted for the third time. Jalen Petrie picks it off. And the Texans are going to take possession here at their own 47-yard line. Partner's bad enough when you just can't hold on to the football. But when your quarterback's throwing it to the other team, that's three interceptions now, four turnovers for the game. You really have no chance to win the football game. Ready. Good starting field Ready. position for the Houston Texans here as they come up first and 10 on their side of midfield at the 47. Ready. On the ground, it's Pierce to begin the drive. And he's across midfield and into Miami territory. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. That gives him 98 yards in this game, and he's got to feel pretty good about that, but the entire offense does. The big thing, though, Brandon, they've got to get to 100, though. You think he knows he's at 98? I think someone has told him by now, and here's the thing. Getting to 100 or more is tangible evidence that you've had a nice day running the football, and that's what his offensive line wants for him and for themselves. Seven catches for him now in this last one, a first down. Uh, give to Pierce. And he gets stopped up at the 